hello and welcome back to Kitten Up Kitten and this video is not a whip and ramble video this video is the introduction to my special heaven and earth design project so there may not be a lot going on here but I didn't want to do it face to face because a you don't need to be looking at my face um I haven't done my hair and also because I wanted you to see how I have set this up to go so who are heaven and earth designs so heaven and earth are a company that have charts for um cross stitching um I have done cross stitching in the past I have done counted cross stitch which is where you have a blank canvas and you follow a chart to put it on um so not necessarily printed canvases um, and heaven and earth do that very very well they have a huge list of um artists and of course they're all licensed as well which is really good um so what they do is they offer a chart that you can buy from them and you would then source your canvas your uh, thread everything and they give you a number of things to do that with so this is a long-term project it is not something i'm going to get done anytime soon um i'm kind of getting this together today because somebody asked me how do you kit up something that has over 200 colors so let's go through the details of the one that i'll actually be doing and why so when i very first started diamond painting i came across rebecca also known as um, four kids at 147 and or add more zest if you would like to see this design done in its full entirety she hasn't completed it yet but it starts from how she got her stuff if you want to look at those videos please go and follow her her way of explaining stuff is probably a lot easier than mine if any mistakes are made during the making of this video that is on me not on anybody else all right so i'm going to try and do this the best way that i can so the reason i wanted to do it is because heaven and earth will supply you with the pattern with the chart i'll give you a quick i can't show you it because i'm not meant to um but it has got you get given a paper chart um and basically you buy the design that you want um and then you can either print out the chart or you can download it and put it onto an app like Pattern Keeper, which is what I will be doing. So the reason I went for the same one as Rebecca is because the image is absolutely stunning. Quite hard to get it on camera, but let's go through the details. The artwork is by Amy Stewart. It is called The Little Dreamer's Tree. Now, I chose the Max Colours version because it's a very confetti painting. The more colours you've got, the more detail you can get in there. Um, I also went for the mini version. Now, the version that Rebecca is doing is the full size version. I chose the mini for two reasons. One, I have a space where this will fit. Two, I love the fact that you've got so many colours in there. It makes it easier to save those colours. And because it is confetti, if you have a colour that doesn't match with all of your beads, because I'm going to be using leftover drills, so the colour matching exactly isn't as important because you've got so much going on, so it won't matter. Um, so that made it easier. Um, also... I love this image so I'm just going to try and feed this up as close as I can. I have printed this onto paper and I've stuck it together. So as you can see we start off with this beautiful cherry blossom and as we go down you'll start to see this beautiful tree come alive and it does have fairies and lanterns it is just stunning. Please excuse my bad joining. <laughs> it's quite hard to do. So you can see we've got some fairies there, which is lovely. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Okay, so it's very long. 
it's very narrow and it's finished by this beautiful gate at the bottom which reminds me of Lord of the Rings. So the reason I wanted to do it is this is absolutely the type of artwork that I love. It's fantasy, it's beautiful. It reminds me of Lord of the Rings. It reminds me of fairies. It reminds me of um, the tree books that I read when I was a kid. Um, it just has everything in there that I absolutely love. But I wanted to do the mini um, the mini version because when you convert some of these cross stitch patterns to diamond paintings they become massive now the original size one of this if I did it in a diamond painting would actually be around 37 centimeters wide which isn't that wide but it's two and a half meters long I don't want to put all this effort into doing something like this and then not be able to see it anywhere. So I decided to go for the mini version. So the way that you convert um, your diamond paintings is when you get your diamond painting, it will give you the size and they mean stitches. So 75 stitches wide by 498 stitches high. OK. So what you need to do is, I need to say that these need to be square diamonds as well. They need to be square drills um, because of the size. So one square drill is 2.5 millimetres in width, okay? So four drills make up one centimetre. So what you do to get the size of your canvas is you take the stitches and you either times it by 2.5 or divide it by four. That will then give you the width. So the width of my um, of my canvas will be. Where does fifteen come up to? Fifteen comes up. Just lost my ruler. Helpful. Fifteen comes up to there. So mine is going to be fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen is almost so it'll be about this wide okay do the same with the length 498 so you times it by 2.5 or divide it by 4 it gives you 124.5 centimeters long so it's a meter and a quarter long I can find somewhere in my house to put this if it's that size. I was also interested to see the difference because Rebecca is doing the larger format. I wanted to see what the difference would be doing the mini version. So that's why I decided to do it. So heaven and earth will give you everything you need to prepare you to do your canvas. What they don't do is they do not provide the drills and they do not provide, they do blank canvases now, I believe, but at the time they didn't. I, I bought this last year. This is how long I've had this in the works. So what do you get when you order your pattern? So I think this one cost me around £17. Let me just have my coffee. And what they do is they give you the measurements. They also tell you how many colours it is. Now, um, this chart is 238 colours. It's a lot of colours. So obviously, kitting it up is a little bit more difficult. But that's what they give you. And then what they also give you... Is this. So this is your guide. And it lists every single DMC that you need. I'm just making sure I'm in shot. So it lists the DMC, the number of DMC that it is. And it will tell you, because ignore this, okay? Because that is if you were doing half stitches. All, I think all of, of Heaven and Earth's patterns are full stitches. There's no half stitches or anything because that wouldn't work for a diamond painting. So in this instance, we know that DMC1, we need 55 drills. That would be 55 stitches if you were cross stitching it. Okay, so we need 55 drills. Before we go any further... And I haven't planned this out. Um, you will notice that we have all of these that are under 150. And as we know, 
there are no drills in those colours. So what you will need to do is you will need to find the closest colour that you can to those numbers. There is ways of doing that. You can search for it on Google, etc. I have a printed chart to tell me. But I also plan to make sure that if I've got um, any of these colours in um, ABs, I'm going to use the ABs for them because I think that will be quite nice. OK, so let's get that out of the way. But it lists every DMC number that you need. And it also lists how many you need. Now, some of these you only need a handful. Look at DMC 33, only need nine. So it's a good way of using your spare drills if you save them. OK, some of these DMC numbers you need huge amounts of. Um, things like 823, um, 3371, you know, some of them you need large amounts for. So kitting it up and saving your drills has to be a little bit more organised differently. I will come to that. So what I did was the first thing I did was I took this sheet, these sheets with these DMC numbers on, and I made three copies. So I've got this copy. I had another copy. And what I did was I took this section here and I made that into my labels for my pots. The second one, the second copy is this copy, just so I've got it if I need it or if I lose my original. The third copy is this one. And this is where I keep track of what I have and how many I've got. Hope you're with me so far. <laughs> it's a process, I'm not going to lie. Now, my goal, just like Rebecca, was to predominantly do this with my bare drills um, obviously I do round diamond paintings as well as square it will not work for round because you will see the blank canvas at the back um, so it needs to be square drills so I very quickly started saving my spare square drills that's what I did so let's move that to one side so like I said we have got you've got all of the floss used for the for the full stitches. Now I did go through um, the numbers that we've got, and those that I needed more of, I actually did order. I spent six pounds sixty on Syllaba, which is a company that provides spare drills, and I ordered these quantities to give me some of the larger quantities so that I was ready to start it. So that's what you get. For £17, you get the whole pack and all the details on it. Now, I did make this and I am going to laminate this because I want to keep this because I just love the image so much. So the things that I did, first of all, I prepped my paperwork. Let me get this so that I could start stashing because there's no point me saving drills in bags and then putting them in pots all in one go. It's 238 colours, for God's sake. It'll take me forever. So I decided to do it as I'm going. So when I kit down a square diamond painting, I will usually go to my Heaven and Earth Designs storage first and I will make sure those pots are full first. With me so far. Okay. So... You need your stickers. You need to start saving your drills. That then means that you need to have a storage system. Now, I decided to do this video now because somebody had asked me how would I kit up. I kitted up my Aries um, and they asked me, how do you kit up for really big pictures? So this is what I have got. I have got two... And that one's flipped over. I have got two cases that hold 120 colours. 120. So I needed two cases. Now these pots hold around 600 drills. 
So that was a good way of me keeping track of how many I'd got because once that pot's full, then I know I've got around 600 in there. In addition to buying larger amounts of the few drills that I need huge amounts of, I also, right back at the beginning, brought a pack off Amazon where they gave you one bag of roughly 200 drills in every single DMC colour. So I also have those. Everything else is from my spares. And I literally go through and I fill these. So the next time I dekit 3363 in this colour, providing I need them, I will put more in here. I will come back to how I'm keeping track of that later. So as you can see, I've used one of the sheets to make my labels. I put them through, um, I actually did these on um, sticker paper that I put in the printer. Um, I didn't have my Xyron sticker maker at that point, otherwise I would have done it that way. But I've done that, so I've got two cases. So 238, there we go. So that is how I'm storing them. And the reason I've done it this way, they are in DMC order because when you use Pattern Keeper, you can upload or download your chart to Pattern Keeper and it will tell you on each section that you do what number you need and in DMC order. So for me, if I was doing a section, I would start with um, this case first because it starts with number one and I would then work my way through the colours until I come to that case. It's the only way. Some people would put their symbols together. I wasn't going to bother doing that. If I keep them in DMC order, then I know which case they're going to be in and roughly where they're going to be. I think these two cases, I think they cost me probably £18 each. They weren't very much, so I've got two. So that is where and how I kit up my Heaven and Earth design. So back to the chart. How do I keep track of what I've got? OK, so what I have been doing is when I de-kit something, I will dekit I will get these out first before I get my spare storage and I will go through each colour and as I come across it I will go okay I've got DMC 160 I know these pots hold um, 600 so DMC 160 let's find it I have got this the wrong way round I hasten to add it would be that way normally not a lot of room when you're doing this um, so I know that DMC 160, so if I if I get that colour for the first time, I highlight up to here, okay? When I get to the point that I know I've got enough, I then go all the way across because I will then not put any more into this. I know I've got enough in that colour to do my complete um, picture, okay? Um, let's put that back. Um, so I might do it in a different colour, but I always follow the same process. So you will see DMC1 and DMC2, because I only needed 55 and 47, I've already found out what the alternative options are for those colours, and I've already done it. However, DMC1... I'm going to switch out for an AB because I have some now. I didn't have any ABs when I did this, when I first set this up. So, so far, we've got our chart. We have our um, storage. I have a method. If I go through this and I don't need any more, I literally leave it in the tub and I put it into my normal storage. What about big numbers? This will only hold 600. So let's find a large number one. I do hope this is making sense, but you can, of course, ask questions. Please do. So DMC 823. Would that be? No, it's in this one. 
So let's find that DMC823. This holds around 600. It might be a little bit more. Um, I actually need 1211. Um, so 1211. So I know that I will need to keep saving these into my other storage. I'm not going to set up a separate storage place for these drills. There's no point. It's just another box. So I know I've got 600 there. I've got half of what I need. Um, and I will then refill this when I've used them. Okay. Um, hence why. On this one, I haven't gone all the way across because I don't know that I've got all of them. I actually probably have by now. It's a long time since I've done anything on here. So that's how I've worked that. So the whole time that I am working on square diamond paintings, providing the drills are good, and they have to be good because if I'm going to put this much effort into something, then I want to do it. I want to do it well. So... What if you're not saving your spares? What do you do? If you go on Heaven and Earth, they have a um, Facebook group where you can... Um, I'm just going to put this back in my storage because this is where I keep it. Because I always start with this one. Let's not get myself into a bad habit because if I lose stuff, I'm going to be I'm going to be struggling. So let's put that back in there where I know where it is. Okay, that's the storage done with. So let me move that out of the way. If you go on to the Heaven and Earth group, or if you email Heaven and Earth yourself, they will tell you that you can send this bit, this um, usage summary, you can send this to some drill manufacturing companies and they will make up the drills that you need for that kit probably be a little bit more expensive to do it that way but it's easier and they will then send those drills to you in the right quantities and the right in the right bags so you do have that option before i go on to the next bit i need to say that heaven and earth also do diamond painting canvases now and same format, you pick the canvas that you want in the size that you want it and they will print it for you. And you can have it printed in two options. You can have a colour or you can have black and white. I really like that idea. And at some point, I am going to buy one. I like the idea of the black and white because it's like a mystery painting. You'll see, see the image, but you won't see it in colour. So <laughs> when I finally get this one done I am going to do that because I want to use my spares so you can buy I think they're called crown jewel canvases it is on the heaven and earth design site check it out and while you're there check out all of the the canvases that they do all of the artists they have they've got some stunning stunning stuff on there okay so let's come to canvases yes you can go to companies and there are companies out there that will do you a blank canvas in the right size and provide all the drills for your heaven and earth design project, which is fabulous. Um, however, blank canvases can be quite expensive depending on how you get them printed. So I followed Rebecca's advice slightly differently. So what Rebecca did, she went to a company on AliExpress. You can find blank canvases on there. And she had a custom canvas made. So she had it made to her size and specifications. Okay. And it came as a canvas. I also went on AliExpress and quickly discovered that it's cheaper to buy a pre-made size than it is to have one custom made and because my diamond painting is smaller than Rebecca did I was able to find a canvas that was long enough but it was too wide and I thought you know what it cost me I think 23 pounds I'm just going to cut it down to size because what I will then have 
I will have double the size that I need, but I will then have this lovely roll of blank canvas and I can maybe make some others up with other cross stitch patterns. Can you do that? Yes, you can. You need to just work out what the width that is and everything and you can convert your little your little um, blank canvas into a cross stitch design. As long as that design has no half stitches, no quarter stitches, no um, no back stitching, you, you can make a diamond painting. So I will use it at some point, she says. So I knew that I needed a canvas because my image will be 18.75 centimetres wide and it will be 124.5 centimetres long. So I rounded it up, so I wanted 19 by 125. I was able to find a canvas that was 100 and, uh, 130, I think, by 36. So this is what I did, this is what I got. I ordered my canvas and I cut it down to size. Now this is a double-sided adhesive canvas. I wasn't able to find poured glue. I did get this from AliExpress. The delivery was very quick and I have tried to unroll it as little as possible. Um, so when I am working, I will need to roll this as I'm working. I'm not going to roll all of it, but you can see we've got quite a decent length there. Because double-sided adhesive doesn't work so well being rolled and unrolled, I don't want to do it too much. So this will be the top of my diamond painting. I will start work here and I will keep this portion rolled up. And as I work, that will then go off the end of my table and hang down, which means that I won't be working on done drills. So I'm not going to move them. I'm not going to knock them. Now, this canvas came. Let me just pull this back. Gridded. However, just like with Rebecca's, it didn't come with the darker line at the start of each 10 section. So I actually have marked off where that will be, but this is my plan. Where did my ruler go? If I can pick it up, because obviously when you've got long nails on, I wanted to do it with this ruler because it's plastic. Right, just bear with me while I pick this up. One second. If you have ever wanted a seriously good laugh, right, if you're ever bored, you're really bored somewhere, find someone who's got acrylic nails, long acrylic nails, and throw something flat on the floor and have a good laugh at how long it takes them to pick it up because that was horrendous. Right, so what Rebecca did on her canvas, please do check her out because she's got a fab series on her Heaven and Earth, which I'm still keeping up to date with. Um, what Rebecca did was she used a marker pen to mark in these sections. Now, she was doing like a two by six section, which is about this size. I plan to do a similar thing, but I'm not going to mark on the canvas. Um, I have marked these to see where they start. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my ruler. So I'll do, if I do six by six, it's very sticky. So no complaints about, about the stickiness. If I do that, like that, it will then give me my line. Do you see? And that's what I'm going to do. Because that way I can track where I am. I also have this. So this will fit there. So I will do it up until the length that I need it. Does that make sense? And I will work on a section this size. So I am planning to cut my canvas in a strip that is that wide so that I can do it. Now this is actually where my design should come to. So I do have a bit of overhang. Um, I will trim that down later. 
if I'd have had it custom made, I could, of course, have got it with a border on like this. I just chose not to for the sake of I'm going to cover it anyway, so it's not going to matter. So that's why I decided. So this is actually how wide it will be. So not that wide. But it's long. Um, you can use a marker pen to draw those lines in if you really want to. I don't see the point. I'm going to be able to see where they are. So that's fine. So that is my canvas. I've now got to try and pull this, this ruler off. Now, of course, you do want to be careful because this is a double-sided tape canvas. I may have to rethink using that ruler if it pulls my adhesive off. Oh, my word. Maybe that's not going to work. That No, it's, it's literally took colour off the back of my ruler how sticky is that though okay that might not work so in that case what I might do is cut myself a piece of cover paper like so you see you're learning with me I thought that was going to work but clearly not so what I will do then is I will cut myself a piece of cover paper like this which is the right thing and I will mark on here and put it down because I know that that will be all right and that will then I'll be able to mark out exactly where my lines are and I'll just use the same piece for the for the width so I could cut this down a little bit more really how well does that one come off you see that one comes off easier but it's not long enough so yeah I will make myself a ruler let's put that away because I don't want to keep that out so, £17 roughly for the pattern. You can print it as many times as you like once you've got it. £23 for the canvas, but I've got double this again. I've got another one because it was actually about that. So I've got some of this left over that I can do some little diamond paintings with, which I love the idea of. Um... I have got it rolled around some, um, I'm, I'm guessing it's like a foam core, because obviously double-sided tape does create rivers and bubbles if you keep messing with it too much. And that is how I will work. So that, so far, is how I need to find some tape or something or an elastic band to put around there. Probably got a hairband, actually, that would work, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'll find my hairband and I'll put a hairband around it. Um, that is my heaven and earth design to date. Okay. You see, I'm sort of sitting here now and I want to do it. <laughs> but I haven't got time to do a third. Um, you will notice on this picture that I have got some stars here. I am going to make those ABs as well. But it is just a stunning piece of art. It is fully licensed. It is something that is going to last for years and years and years. And it's a big achievement to do something like this. I'm not saying normal diamond art paintings are not achievements. Oh, my God, they are. Aries is massive. You know, that's a huge achievement to get that done. But this is a challenge and a long term challenge. And whatever craft you do, lots of us have them. You know, if you crochet very often, you will have two or three whips on the go you'll have a big whip that's a long-term project you will have uh, a couple of smaller ones and you'll go between the three to give yourself some variety diamond painting is no different i had originally said that i wanted to start this earlier in the year and i haven't yet um this has kind of made me want to start it <laughs> so I may I may start it so what I need to do before I can start it is I need to make sure that I've got everything I need I need to make my my cover paper ruler because I don't want to mark the canvas I can't be doing with trying to draw on sticky glue um, so I'm going to do that and um, yeah might make a start even if I only do you know one whip a month on it 
you know, because I would really like to see this this go in. And I've got everything I need. I've got enough. I've got a minimum of 200 of every single colour that I need. So I can make a start. Now, the problem is when you've got large amounts of the blue, blah, 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 is I may start it and reach a point where I've got to wait to build my spare drills back up again. But that's fine. I, you know, that was the purpose. The purpose of this was to use up drills instead of throwing them away because I want to reuse everything. And I feel like it's nice to have a big, a big project. On that note, all of this is with square drills. I haven't, I you can get blank round drill canvases. The problem that you have is the image, you will see the white of that background around it so I don't know if there's a way to combat that or whether it would work I'd be interested to see if it would work maybe I'll try it who knows but that is the start of my heaven and earth designs so if you're interested in doing your own project doesn't have to be the same one do a different one go and check heaven and earth designs out um, they've got some stunning stunning artwork on there and um yeah why not give it a go especially if you're saving your square dr square drills you know use them you might as well use them like i said the other bit that i've got that i cut off here i did leave myself quite a big border but the other bit that i've got um I'm going to look for some little cross stitch patterns. Um, I've noticed recently Rebecca and a lot of other people have been doing the little paint gem pictures. You could very easily do something like those with those leftover bits, but using your spare drills. So um, definitely something I'm keeping the other bit for. Um, but I'm kind of excited now. I want to kind of start it. Is that bad? I really do. But I do need to get the uh, Pattern Keeper app on my phone. You do need to pay. I need to say the Pattern Keeper app is for Android devices, which is fine for me because I have Android. Um, I believe there is an app that you can use if you are um, using an iPhone, but I can't attest to it. So I would need to get the Pattern Keeper app on my tablet because I wouldn't be able to do it with my phone. If I get that Pattern Keeper app, I will then do another video showing how that works, if I know how that works. Um, but this is the introduction to my mini Little Dreamer's Tree Max Colours. And um, I need to think of a title for the playlist for this because I don't want to do the same as Rebecca. Um, I need to give it... I need to give it a new a new name um, but it is by Amy Stewart stunning stunning artwork and I'm super excited to give this a go who knows there may be a startup video so I apologize there won't be a kitten up video because I did all that before I before I even started YouTube but Keep your eyes peeled. It might be coming sooner than you think. Thank you very much for joining me today. And um, I hope that this video has been of help. Um, I can definitely say that I was so inspired by Rebecca to try and do this um, that I decided to go ahead and give it a go. So um, if by me doing this, it's opened up something new for you as well i do hope you'll enjoy please do share in the comments and um let's keep our fingers crossed that this goes to plan thank you very much for joining me today it is as always over and out from this kitten up kitten bye bye